So, my friend Samantha really likes iJustine. And I noticed on iJustine's channel shortly, a short time ago, that iJustine made a video of her end of the world survival bag. Well, I decided to make my own end of the world survival bag, and here it is. Now, for some of this, I'm going to exaggerate that it pretend like it's in there because I, um, I'm not getting all my clothes out and folding them up and putting them in here. It's just like, why would I do all that for a video? Now, first things first, what do I have? Well, first, I will have it on my shoulders like a backpack's supposed to be. And I would first have, I would first have, if I don't drop the darn bag, this would be difficult to be trying to survive the end of the world. I would have my cell phone on this little neat little nifty clip inside this little pocket thingy while it would be like clipped in so I wouldn't have to carry it or hold it in my hand. And I would have my cell phone, which is an Android Huawei Mercury, and it would be my first item that I would be bringing with me. The next thing I'd be bringing with me is in the top pocket on the back of the bag, I would be bringing my proactive deep cleansing brush because you never know when you need to take a shower because you don't need to stink. And even though it's the end of the world, you still should clean yourself. You should not be stinky. So I would have my proactive deep cleansing brush with me because it's one of my favorite things. And then I would have deodorant, obviously, because after you take a shower, you need to rub on that deodorant so your pits don't stink. And I'm not even playing. You, you go around stinking, people's going to look at you. Then the next thing I would have is Sensodyne because... Well, it's the kind of toothpaste I use. It's the best kind there was ever created. Well, to me, because I have sensitive teeth. And it, teeth, why did I say teeth? <laughs> I have sensitive teeth, and it really works. And it is so good, girl. Get you some. And then I would have my actual toothbrush, which is a, well, the label has, the label has clearly rubbed off. But I would have, the Crest 360 toothbrush thing that does the little whitening caps inside of here and all that. I would have that in there because it goes with my Sensodyne and you don't need your breath to be stinking. And it helps you have white teeth. Well, supposedly. Then I would have my razor, which it's a lady razor. But you know what? It shaves better than any man razor I have ever used that is disposable. And it is by Bic. It's a Bic razor. And then, going into the next pocket, well, the big part of the bag, I would be having clothes in here. Let's just pretend that I have clothes in here, okay? So, I would have clothes, socks, underwear, everything you normally have packed into here. And then I would also have my three-step system from Proactive. I would have that down in there because you never know when you're going to get the chance to shower and when you do you really want to be clean like I said before you want to be clean so I'll have my three step system with me and then for those times that you can't get clean because you can't always be um, having the time to shower or be in a position to get in the shower so I would have my I would have my acne free brand two in one acne wipes because they help when um, you are not going to get to shower and use proactive. They really help so good. And then, I would have in this next bag, the next pocket, I would have my Apple iPad in the Defender Series case. It's the third generation Retina Display iPad in the OtterBox Defender Series case. And obviously, it is up in here because it needs to be good and protected because it's the end of the world and I might need to run. I might need to run or something, and this thing is like army. It's like the boss. So, if I needed to run or something, my iPad would be like locked up in here. It's sealed away, girl. So, I would have that. And then my next pocket, I would have gum, because you never know when you're going to need some gum. Some dentine, no product placement. 
for any of these items. I just really would be bringing this with me on my end of the world travels if that's what there ever was of such a thing. So, dentine eyes, I would definitely have me some dentine eyes because you don't need no stink breath if you can't shower, like I said before. And then I would have my Galaxy Player with me, which I showed in another video. I don't have that in here right now, but it would be with me if it was going to be the end of the world. But it would be with me. So then I have my charger for my Galaxy Player. I would definitely have that. It is detachable USB with the Samsung logo. I would definitely have that with me. And then a car charger because you never know if my cell phone needs to be charged. Now I might not be around a wall plug and I may be riding in a car to try to get away because it's the end of the world. And then my Apple charger because of my iPad, which I would need to charge if I was going to get any internet access going. I would need to make sure I stay charged up. Then my camera, which I'm recording this video with. I would actually have it in this case and it'd be down in there and protected. And then my actual cell phone charger for the Huawei Mercury. I would have that with me because I really need to keep my phone charged in case of an emergency. And then the last thing would be... Oh, my Canon battery charger and extra battery for the Canon camera. I would have it good to go with this little flip out charger. I would have it good to go. It would be waiting for me. And then, that's pretty much all I would have with me. I would have the necessities. I would have my camera to record the videos and everything else that I showed you. So, that's the bag I would take with me if it was the end of the world. Because it's like, you can pull the straps tight and it's got padding. It's got a really good foam padding. I don't even know where this backpack came from. Probably Walmart. Walmart. Who says Walmarts with an S? It's Walmart. So this backpack probably came from Walmart and it's got lots of pockets for extra access if you ever need it. There's all kinds of access for pockets and stuff. So, thank you to I Justine for giving me this video idea to make a video about what I would put in a wilderness or a, sur a wilderness, a survival bag if it was the end of the world. And a shout out to my friend Samantha because she really likes I Justine. Hi, Samantha. And, yeah, so why don't you write in the comments suggestions for what you would want to take in a end of the world survival bag. And hit subscribe for more videos from me because I'm the best. Well, not the best, but I'm pretty cool. I heard I was pretty cool from somebody. Somewhere, yeah. Somebody told me. And hit like, all the likes, and stuff like that. It helps. And you are done seeing my ugly mug now. So, goodbye, and have a lovely day.